Dan Nugamero's Midwest Grill, and we're going to have a great time here today. we got a hodgepodge of recipes. That's the name of this show, hodgepodge of recipes. It's a hodgepodge day. Sir. It is. Mr. Merrill to my left, your right, I'll be Mad Dog, and on the keyboard, Fast Freddy, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix and Profire Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, All Things Jerky, Glorious Malone Fine Sausage, Henning's Award Winning Cheese, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Yes, folks, that's right. This show's in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, you wish. <laughs> this is no game what show, mean, ladies wish? and gentlemen. It is this is reality, <laughs> tragedy, drama. Every day is a game show with us. You that's know right. That. All of it's there, Freddie. All, right. All of it's there. What's the name of the guy who does the other game show there? Family Feud. Remember that? Yeah. What's Let's the guy's see. name? Harvey. <laughs> you can't win with just Harvey. What's yes, you can. Name? You can write the word Harvey and you'd win. Okay, Mad Dog and Merrill here. We're going to have a great time here today. I'm going to do some nice pizzas on the grill. Anybody own a pizza stone? If you're going to do pizzas on the grill, get a pizza stone, please. I'm going to preheat my pizza stone. I'm going to get that baby going right now. I got a nice medium high heat. Place that right in the center. Well, we're off set because I got to do some more stuff over here. Place that right, right on top of the grates of the grill. Nice high heat. Get that baby preheated. No name steaks. Anybody use no name steaks? I've done it. I have too. They're great stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. You know, you know, you know the, the, uh, this, time, this time of season, it's, it's great to take this right out of the freezer. It's double packaged. It's safe. Nobody's touched this but me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Boy, that's good to know. I'm not worried about that. I'm not either. It's going to cook to 150 some degrees. Trust me on this one here. I'm going to don a pair of gloves. I'm going to get four of those beautiful no name steak salmon uh, on the grill. Uh, and that goes for the next segment, but I want to get it going. What's you up to, Mr. Morrell? Hey, I care about you. Well, you know, it was never touched by human hands. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still not. I got gloves on. That's right. Caribou today. Doing some caribou. Got this and all things jerky. The caribou is absolutely unbelievable. Look how beautiful that is. Nice, rich red, high in protein, iron. It's absolutely great. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm actually going to do these as tips. As you can tell when you, when you buy this, this is exactly how they come. All right? So what all I'm going to like do... All cut like that? All pre-cut like that? Yeah, all pre-cut like that. Oh, was it really? Yeah. I didn't think no, you were that shoot, talented. No, no, it wasn't. I cut this all myself. Really? <laughs> hey, get the idea. All right. Now, this is very, very, very lean meat. I went over really over season this quite a bit too because actually for the flavor but I, I've got some of our sunflower oil in there I'm going to stir that around do that really good and then I'm going to go ahead and season it quite heavily and uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the W sauce here to start it out with want that in there really really good flavor that and then I'm going to be using our spices I'm going to use a lot of grandma hazels and a lot of our garlic pepper <laughs> which there's no sodium in the garlic pepper, but really want the flavor. Well, it's a, heavy, it's a heavier meat. You can season it well. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's really got to be. Grandma Hazel, I love Grandma. <laughs> you really got to go to it, too, folks. Don't be shy whatsoever on this. And then I've got some of our garlic pepper, which, you know, is my favorite. It really is. Is that it there? That is a, no, that's garlic pepper. You put Mix enough that up. seasoning out here. We don't know if we're eating Polish sausage. <laughs> no, <laughs> you would know. <laughs> yeah, we'd know. We'll know. <laughs> you would know. Yeah, Freddy. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, anyway, I'm gonna just stir this around a little bit, and then I'll put that on the grill. And also, I got some mushrooms. I'll put on right before we go to the next segment too. So. Sounds good. So it's all right with you? Oh, that looks great so far. Okay, sounds good. I'm not yeah. done yet, sir. No. How are you going to cook that stuff eventually? Yeah, yeah I am. I'm going to do that in so. but I'm going to All right, this who loves right a now. good tuna melt? Ladies and hey. gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, do you, Freddy, do you like tuna melt? <laughs> it's a winner! <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, tuna melts, are, I love tuna melts on the grill. Uh, I don't have an opportunity to eat them in the last 28 years because Lori doesn't like tuna melts. She well, doesn't. Really? Well, we eat tuna sandwiches, but you don't want nothing warm blended together. Oh. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't fit her palate. Oh, Kathy so, and tuna are oh, like one man. and one. Well, so yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to call upon our good friends at Golden Home. Uh, how many folks have ever used the uh, 
This is a rese the, 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 you see that resealable package now they got? That's Isn't great. That great? Uh, so these are the Golden Home Ultra Thin Crusts. If you've never used them, they're phenomenal to do. We're going to call <laughs> upon these babies today. So I'm going to get that out and get that ready. But here's what we got. Uh, three packs, four packs of tuna. Okay. And so we're going to make a nice little tuna melt. So I got some great tuna in there. We're going to add a little pickle relish in there. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody has a different recipe. So far, you are right on the money. Am I really? Oh, uh, yeah. Just I, a, watch, I watch Kathy make this Yeah, a little bit of pickle relish day. in there. You got to have, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to go uh, low sodium, sodium free on our healthy harvest. That's got about 25 herbs and spices. I love it. It's just absolutely phenomenal. It's got a little uh, uh, mustard seed in there, and it's got a little thyme in there. So every once in a while, it's a little bite, but not uh, not over the edge, just a great flavor. 25 just herbs and spices, some nice little uh, healthy harvest in there. Uh, our seasonal brings out the flavor. It has a little uh, uh, sodium in there, but it's a celery. Uh, so it has a celery in there that brings out a great flavor with that uh, tuna, a wonderful flavor. Uh, then we're gonna add celery and peas. And I don't know why I'm adding the peas, just because it, when I make a pasta salad with tuna, yep. it's, I have put in peas. Did you put in peas in tuna melt? I don't know. Candy's the one. My wife's addicted to peas, here, too. Because... Yeah, so let's, let's blend that together a little bit first. Well, let's not do that. Let's get some mayo going. So now we got the mayo. Cinco. Cinco de mayo. Cinco de mayo. <laughs> Drink man. the mayo. So the, the, the joke of the day is it's it, today that we're taping, it's Cinco de Mayo. Had, the show has nothing to do with it, no. but that's what it is. Well, the drink does. The drink does. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to blend this up, and we're going to get that all mixed together, get that tuna going, get that mayo right. going. And what we're going to do is we have the pizza stone on the grill. Oh, well, man, I'll tell you what, that's going to be good. So th there's about three parts to this pizza. This is only the beginning. I want to get the mixture going. And then next segment, we have uh, lettuce, tomato, and, and raw onion. All right. And, and then we have some great Kobe cheese to put over the top. Good, good. But that's the next segment. Well, here, All watch right. This. Is it really? Well, here you're go. doing that. I've got some Wait, 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 wait. Just wait one second. Okay, wait one second. Good, this is, look good. at the quantity. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's going to be great. Let it's me like just a, spread that on oh. top. I want people to understand. It's like a huge taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It. it really is. Just fold it. And, and, and if go. I can right now, I'm going to put some bell peppers on top. You can do whatever you want to, sir. It's So now I'm going to get that on my pizza stone. What's up, Mr. Morrell? Hey, well, I've got some mushrooms here. I just oiled those a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and place these right on the grill. Get those going a little bit. And then I've also got the uh, the caribou. Let's I care about you too. Caribou's going to take a while. It's very lean. Decided to do everything in the cast iron skillet today. So, got that going on. We'll put some onions in there and get that happening up. So, we'll be right back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Whoa! Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Everybody, you know, he told me, what he say? let's rock and roll. That's oh, exactly right. right. <laughs> it jumps up there, you know. The caribou's looking good. I got the mushrooms and onions up here. We're going to add some more ingredients on that, but sir. Oh, I'm going to get, I got to get a pizza stone. I got another okay. pizza stone over here. We're going to throw that on the grill right there and get that boy to be warmed up right now. The pizza melt's looking absolutely delicious right now. Let me show you the pizza. Where's my chocolate? Big, big spatula <laughs> Let me show you what this baby looks like so far. That is spectacular. That, honest to goodness, that's looking pretty good so far. Uh, so that's going good right now. The crust is getting just fine, but now we're ready to top it. So now it's browned up. I want to get that tuna kind of melted. That's the tuna melt part, what Love I figured. It. Well, uh, Kathy's on. Okay, yeah. Spanish onions. So we're going to put some raw onions oh, over the top oh. of those. Got to have raw onions. <laughs> And then, uh, <laughs> what should we do first? I think lettuce. Lettuce. Lettuce, shall we? Okay. We shall. Add some nice fresh lettuce over the top. So this isn't gonna take very long at this point here. This is like the, the finale when it comes to that baby there. Wow. We're gonna get some sliced tomatoes. Oh, she'll love that. Yeah, 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 she'll. <laughs> Freddie's <laughs> wife, Kathy, gets the tuna milk. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get some nice fresh tomatoes over the top of that. That's yeah, a little too many. That's enough right there. That's there. I don't want to overdo it, you know. We don't want to overdo things. You don't want to overdo it, even for that television. Just enough. That's right there. And now, now we have the, the award-winning Henning Cheese Colby. 
Oh, well, the award winning penny cheese. cheese, Colby cheese. They won a national or international award or something on this guy. Throw me a slice. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass you one. <laughs> oh, I'm like one too. I love that, sir. Button. Thank you very much. <laughs> but it is it's, it's really phenomenal. So I grated some up. I grated mm. a nice block up. And we're going to put the cheese over the top. Yeah, I know. And that's going to just blend down really, really nice. We're going to slow cook that now. Really slow cook. And I turned the heat down on that baby now and just let everything kind of like melt together. Mmm. Yeah. Dang it. Can't wait cheese to have that. This Colby is That Colby is just delicious. Unbelievable. Isn't it? I'm loving it. Yeah. Man, and cheese. Just Deal fantastic. With Wisconsin. Good stuff. You got okay, the mid on. The caribou is doing fine. I'm going to go ahead and put some little mushrooms and onions in here. We're going to mix everything together. Take the caribou. If you get a chance this summer, visit uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, All Things Jerky. What a great place it is. It really, really is. You know, All kinds of great gifts and salsas and hot sauces and jerkies and, and exotic meat. My favorite is the mug of meat. You know that. I know. I the mug of meat. Go online mug of at All Things Jerky and order their mug of meat for somebody. It's all these different jerky sticks and beef sticks and different types of uh, meat. And you can pick it yourself. You realize every one is unique. So what's your favorite, Freddie? Well, Just you know, I, plain I, Freddie likes the turtle. <laughs> I'm more of an alligator guy. Gator. The, the, the gator, the gator was, was good. The gator was good. What's all he right. doing back there, cameraman, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we got the caribou and the onions and the mushrooms there. We're going to start making a liquid out of it. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, some red wine. You got a camera right to your right, too, Meryl. So no, if you that's turn right. That I forgot about look that. At that. Thank baby. you so there much, you sir. Yeah, I Thank you so much. Out the, the show. It's all about the show, folks. <laughs> yes, it is. A little red wine. It's all about on. the red wine. <laughs> I love the smell of red wine, man. A little, a lot more of the W sauce. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just bubbling. Oh, I love perfect. it. Red wine and W sauce. Oh, the only thing you're missing is about five tabs of butter. <laughs> I know. Seriously, I butter. seriously, I butter, butter and wine. Butter. butter and wine is like two staples. <laughs> I know, but you're trying to keep me alive yeah. for another another season, or at least for the rest of the season. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep Can going. I go? Can I go? Thank you. Thank you. Dry soup mix. Okay, got the brown soup mix. I'm gonna place that in there. I'm gonna stir that around. Let that simmer. Got that corner. That'll make sort of a nice thickness in there. If you want to take and serve this over noodles or just have it, have it plain as this, but oh, the smell, the aroma, <laughs> and the noodles. Noodles was the name of my first dog. <laughs> don't even <laughs> joke. Oh, don't even <laughs> <on. laughs> <laughs> oh, I love noodles. noodles. Oh, we took them out west and a caribou got them. <laughs> After that, did you care about you? No. You okay. You cared about you. Oh, man, it's going to be a long time. Are you doing man. anything else? I'm just going to add a little bit of our number one barbecue sauce on there. It says so. hickory. I'm hey. just going to add some of our hickory barbecue <laughs> sauce on there. Okay, here's another pizza over here, Mr. Cameraman. Uh, we're going to okay. use our DeWorks as the base. So I, I cooked up the uh, no-name steak salmon, looking really good. Our little poppers came out, so I know the salmon's done perfectly. It's marrow proof. There you go. Uh, we're going to add some, uh, some of our wonderful DeWorks on the bottom as a base. Uh, that's got the tomato in there. It's got the onion in there. It's got a brown mustard in there, and it's got a little uh, sauerkraut. So we're going to spread that baby around. That's our little sauce. Yes, there we go. I I'm love intrigued. that. I'm intrigued. Yeah, oh man, I'll tell you what, these are, this is delicious. Look at this. Take the salmon, crumble that baby up. Maybe we are going to use quite a few of these babies. We don't know. I thought I'd have one to take Ooh. home. But... Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> that really looks good. Yeah, doesn't it though? We'll do one more. So we got some nice salmon over the top of that. Uh, then we got some, your ingredients of your choices. Freddie, you love black olives? Hey. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, guy. Freddie <laughs> likes everything except there's nothing hot. <laughs> Why not? So we got black olives over the top of that. These are those sweet, nice colored peppers just for a little bit of show and for flavor. Got a nice sweet pepper. We got the Spanish onions over the top of that. Some green pepper. And I'm gonna pack that down a little bit. And now we called upon our good friends at Henning Cheese again. And this is their, uh, this is phenomenal. I, I had a block of this and I couldn't stop eating it. It's red Thai curry. Oh! Red Thai curry. And I don't have my glasses on to tell you what's all in there. Wow. It's a ginger lemongrass, uh, 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 some sort of limes, I can't read, and red chili peppers and garlic and, and curry. So it's curry infused. It's just phenomenal flavor. And I thought that curry and that lemongrass and everything else would go phenomenal Look over the that. top of that pizza there. And what we, 
Well, I get that on the grill. All right, I want to have you take I a... can see what he's doing right away. <laughs> well, I just want you to have a little piece. I know. It really is. Good. <laughs> That's just you amazing. Try that. It's just unbelievable. That, that, and you got to taste the ginger. You taste the curry, uh, the lemongrass in there. That henning cheese out of uh, uh, Keele, Wisconsin, Keel. and that's mm. going to go phenomenal out there. So I, I got to scoop that over, and here's what we're going to do. Mm. I'm taking off our pizza right now. We're going to let that set. I apologize. That looks right, right on. Because it's ready. That baby's ready. Oh yeah. That is a tuna melt to beat all tuna melts, ain't it? Kath. <laughs> yes, <come on> out. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back there too. Uh, we got a, a lot more cooking to do. Dessert pizzas are coming up next. So don't right. nowhere. Well, Mad Dog and Mero's Midwest Grilling. We've been cooking up a storm here now, having a good time. Pizzas were great. Oh, the pizzas were we, phenomenal. We'd we, 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 we re-show that uh, tuna melt pizza, but it's pretty much gone. <laughs> it is <laughs> long gone. <laughs> that was delicious. That was it's great. It I really it. was. You want to see another great one? Watch this baby right here. That's that. That's that. Uh, uh, that salmon. beautiful salmon pizza. That's right. Absolutely oh, yes. delicious. Now, the the funny thing about the salmon pizza is I put the to works down there on the bottom, but okay. it is delicious. That was the correct part. The part that we forgot about was I already had one done with cream cheese, oh. <laughs> and then I was going to put a little bit of the Deworks on top. So then the salmon and all the toppings would have been on top of that cream cheese mixture. Uh, but we had. I'll, I'll take that home. I'll, I'll roll that up. And I'll put that in my pocket and take uh, that home. I'd fly that you can take and it. Put it on top of the pizza. It's a big burrito. Oh, it's a ZZ. It's a, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> a quesadilla burrito? No, <laughs> Meryl knows. <laughs> ZZ, um, ZZ, 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 ZZ top. top. Uh, what? Chi Chi Chong. Chi Chi Chong. Chi Chi Chong oh, movie. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> Go on, oh, dude. ZZ, ZZ top, top papers, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many folks have oh, ever done dessert? Man. You know, if you're going to do the main course, you're going to do the hors d'oeuvres, if you're going to do the vegetables on the grill, you got to do desserts. These are coming off the grill right now, and I'm going to show you how to make a nice little dessert on the grill. Hey, while I do that, Marilyn, okay. your caribou looks so delicious. The caribou, <laughs> allthingsjerky.com. Great place to go. Hey, by the way, Bruce, Bruce, I want to say one thing. Sure. Where is that cameraman? <laughs> Bruce, just below Raleigh, North Carolina, we love our MHP grills. I've been cooking on one at home for seven years, and I won't get rid of that, baby. I use it every week, guaranteed. MHP grills. Bruce, thank you. Good okay. old Bruce out in Raleigh. We were just out in Raleigh just about a month ago. We were, guys. we yeah. were. All right, the caribou. We've got that with little onions in there. <laughs> We've got some mushrooms, a little red wine, and a little bit of hickory barbecue sauce. Seasoned up very good. And here she is. Oh my Look god, I can smell noodles. it from here. That smells delicious. Boy, I just love that wine, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And the Worcestershire. Oh. And all that butter you put in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? That is wonderful. There you Thank go. Thank you for sir. sharing that, Mr. Merrill. Oh, well, thanks for making me do that. Are okay. you making the noodles? When the, no, the I'm making the, all the noodles would be good with it. <laughs> oh my God! I thought you were making the noodles. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, okay, uh, uh, our, our golden home crust make a, a couple sizes. They got the nice smaller ones here with five to a pack. The larger ones have three to a pack. By the way, they also have a, a protein one. In each, there's three little shells in here. Each one has 16 grams of protein, and I'm coveting these because you guys don't need your car, your protein. <laughs> I love the darn things. Okay, desserts on the grill. Desserts. Here, here's a couple ways you can do it. This is when Merrill was a little Merrill. I'm listening. Merrill was in the Discoveries. The Explorers. <laughs> Explorers. I like Explorers. Those. I love this. I'm Discovery. listening. I've yeah, heard they this took, they took a mounds of fluff into yes. the woods with peanut butter, and they took loaves of bread, and they made fluffer nutters. And if you never had a fluffer nutter, now I could have done this with a, my great big cream cheese one right now, and we could have used cream cheese at the base, but the fluff is absolutely wonderful. It is. So you just put a little bit of fluff. It doesn't take much fluff because they call it fluff because when it warms up, that baby fluffs. And we're going to add a little peanut butter over the top. So that's the fluff, and that's the nut, fluffer nutters. And now a couple ways you can do those. Uh, you can put a little few chips over the top of those, but not too many. It doesn't take that many. These happen to be, uh, we always support the good Girl Scouts, and these are the lemon le lemonade cookies. Okay. I never got any the cookies lemonade, this oh, year. These are delicious. You can have the rest of those. So I'm going to crumble up the lemonade cookies, and we're going to put those over the top <laughs> of them, too. 
I just want to know who's going to get to lick the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if Merrill and I, if we were in this dang virus crisis, I'd be sticking this on Merrill's head right now. I know now. you would. Yeah, uh, I know. Okay, then over here, these are the two pieces that are done. And you got to let them cool just a little bit when they set. They're so fun to use and so easy. In fact, we were doing a Facebook Live, and I did fluffer nutters. That's right. Yeah. I and and I, I folded them over in a flour tortilla shell and made sandwiches. The next day, I went out to the refrigerator, and there was that cold fluff. Uh -huh. It was just like eating a candy bar. Oh, I bet it was. Oh, God, it was good. It was really good. So even just even if you want to wait till tomorrow with them babies right there, it's phenomenal. No but those goes on the pizza stone, too. And all we're simply going to do, are you guys ready for a piece of pizza? Sure, yeah. I'm ready Why for not? anything. So we got the Golden Homes. These babies these babies are phenomenal. They just, they, they, they uh, the crusts are great. You know, they're thin crusts. You don't need a pizza stone with these babies. No, and they you last a long time, too. I mean, you know, the package-wise and everything else. Mr. Fred? Triangles. Oh, yes. Mr. Yeah, Merrill, yeah. Do you do squares or triangles? I'm usually a square guy, but I'm not going to turn yeah. this away. No, 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 no. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. That's that salmon on there, no-name steak salmon. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That Thai cheese with the lemongrass in there and the curry. This is better than home delivery. <laughs> <laughs> We're at home delivery. <laughs> Okay, mm. we're gonna be right back to wrap this baby yeah, up, ladies boy. and gentlemen. Very Freddie, up. I'm sorry to have it played. Thanks for joining in, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill, and it's time to eat. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill is a production of Lash Pro Visual Communications.